start to finish. The restoration of the last Hemi. It was the late 1970s. Joe Angelucci was a 14-year-old kid with a passion for Mopars. One Mopar in particular. I was going over a friend's house after school one day and I was just, you know, looking around as I was riding and I saw the tail end sticking out of a garage door in an apartment building. And I recognized the, the tail lights as being RT tail lights and it, you could kind of see the emblem, but it was pretty far away. So I pulled my bike in the parking lot and looked at the car. I'm like, wow, it's a Charger RT. And the emblems were removed from the car while it was sitting there. I didn't know it was a Hemi car at the time. So I wrote down the serial number. I went over to my dad's house the next weekend and looked up in his Challenger service manual, the number for you know an R code in the serial number. And I'm like, wow, it's a Hemi car. And my dad said, oh, that's pretty rare. He goes, I wonder if it still has the Hemi. And a lot of those engines were pulled out you know, and swapped out for 318s back in the gas crunch days. And so the next time I went back, the next time I rode my bike up there and I crawled underneath the bumper and popped the internal hood release from on, you know, outside the car and lo and behold, there was still Hemi under there and we took all kinds of pictures of it and everything, put it all back the way it was and then I started going door to door um, to all the apartments inside there to find out who owned that garage, number 48, and uh, it turned out it was a little old lady that had the garage. And I asked her if that was her 71 Dodge out in the garage and she laughed and said, oh no, I'm renting the garage to a friend of mine. So I rode my bike over to that guy's house, and uh, he didn't want to sell it. You know, plus I was 14, he probably didn't take me too serious. We stayed in touch about once a year, every year, for many, many years. Um, you know, I, I brought a 71, a mint 71 Charger RT over to his house and offered to trade him that 440 car for the Hemi car, and he didn't want to do it. He was going to hang on to the Hemi car. And um, over the years, it, I mean, the, the visits got to be instead of every year. I was, you know, two years, and then maybe towards the end, three years, but. Um, the way I found the car was for sale was my mom had stopped at a garage sale of all things. Joe went to that garage sale where he met a guy who knew the guy that Joe had been bugging since he was that 14 year old kid dreaming of owning that Hemi Charger. And he said, well, I got to tell you something. The car's for sale right now. A few phone calls later. Went over there. The car was in the brand new garage, brand new as in, you know, 12 years ago now. Mm -hmm. and, and it didn't matter what, what, if the engine was locked up or not, I was buying the car. I was positive I was going to buy the car. And can I ask, how old are you now? 47. So this is a 33-year love with this car. With this car, yes. 33 years, yep. from 14 to 47. Yep. And you saw it when you were 14 looking like this. Exactly. It hasn't changed a bit. I've put 100 miles on it since I've had it. When I found the car in 78, it looked exactly like this. So in his mid-20s, Joe Angelucci acquired his dream. But then the fairy tale became even more interesting. 13, 14 years ago, a Chrysler historian guy named Galen Govier got a hold of my serial number and told me that, you know, it sounded very late, later than anything he's ever heard of. And we got on the phone together for quite some time. He get, got the serial number and the information off my build sheets. And he checked it with every assembly plant that built anything with a Hemi in it and said, you have the last Hemi car ever made. And uh, we've done, since then, done lots of checking. Um, it was considerably later than everything else. I, I love the car, I bought the car because I loved it. You know, finding that out was just a big plus. For more on the restoration of The Last Hemi, visit our website at thelasthemi.com.